Nichols just took a little less than a dime worth of time in this YSL trial. Huh? Nichols just took a little less than a dime worth of time in this YSL trial. If y'all don't know what's going on, Nichols just took a seven with 20 hanging over the head. So what that means, the balance of it. A lot of y'all don't get how the time works as far as when somebody gets sentenced. So from my understanding right now, he has 20 years altogether. Seven of it has to be spent incarcerated. Now we know they already got, I think, two and a half, three and a half, whatever they got. That's that's going to be uh, accounted towards that seven. Now, with this seven, what that means is that the rest of it, whatever the balance is left, he might come home in five. You don't know. You don't know how this is going to go. They don't got like the the accurate the accurate reporting of it or how how long exactly does he have to serve? Does he have to serve serve the whole seven? We don't know. All we know is that it's state time and state time a little bit harder than fed time, but it's not that bad. Regardless of what, whatever the balance is, let's just say he has to hold, serve the whole seven. I don't think he is, but let's just say it. That means he's going to have 13 over his head as far as uh, pro probation, okay? Is that crazy? Yeah, I don't I don't know. Georgia Georgia is known for giving out some crazy probation sentences because they expect you to come back. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, that's crazy. He shouldn't have took a deal. At first, I felt the same way, but... I really had to say to myself, and I had to put myself in his shoes. How can we say, don't take a deal right now when he's been away from his family for two and a half years? He got older kids. I think they said 12 and 10 or something. He got kids that's asking questions, and they want to know what's going on. You can't blame somebody for taking a, a, a certain amount of time, especially if they're from the streets, bro. Some people could just, just want to go down state and do their time. Doing it in the county just ain't comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You in pods, open pods. You want to get to your cell, get to your hut, and just do your time and lay down, bro. And that way you could get into a daily routine and just do it day for day. A lot of people don't understand that, so it's hard to explain. But bro, bro took what was best for him. He did not snitch. I see what everybody said in the comment section. He didn't snitch. And just like Harvey said, because Harvey cleared up a lot of that. Harvey said, listen, uh, y'all can call it Rico with all of whatever y'all want. My client is admitting to the two uh, candy charges that he got and the unaliving or whatever. That was something that he did by himself. Y'all can call it whatever y'all want on that end. That's what I'm going by. He ain't coming on the stand. He ain't saying nothing. He going downstate to do his time. And whether y'all know it or not, when he turned around and uh, Miss Westmoreland, when he hugged her, he looked happy. So, bro, as long as he happy with himself, you can't you can't tell a man how to feel about his own goddamn um, intuition or the choices that he made. If he happy with himself, that's what I'm going with, brother. I'm glad you got something that you could bear. We'll see what happens, bro, but that's what we got. We adjourn for the day. I'm just a messenger.